can't seem to start this video properly. All right, what's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome again to another video. So uh, I'm just gonna go off the top here. So because I just, this is like my sixth take and I can't seem to start it properly. So this is my 2020 uh, Jeep Wrangler, Wrangler Rubicon that I picked up this week. Uh, this is a used one, but it's a 2020 and it is a diesel. So that's the best part about this uh, truck amongst other things, uh, amongst all these other mods. So I bought the car already set up this way. Um, as you can see, I'll give you guys a quick walk around. <coughs> I love the color. This is uh, Sting Gray. There's three different grays uh, in this uh, the Jeep line on 2020. So this is the lighter, creamier gray that they have. And it's really, really nice. It stands out, uh, but it's also subdued at the same time, which is just my type of color. So I found this at San Francisco Sports Cars here in San Car uh, in my area, San Carlos, California. And I always, you know, it's it's always like my go-to website for looking at car interesting cars. Um, I didn't, I went in there to look at this Jeep. I didn't expect to buy it that day, but I did because um, it was just it was just too good. So it was just too good. Three thousand two hundred miles, a diesel, eight-speed automatic. I never when I when I heard Jeep was gonna come out with a with a diesel, I never thought that. You know, I would actually get one. I, I dreamt of one. I always like say like, oh, someday, you know, like I'm gonna get like a diesel Jeep because I've I'm contemplating doing uh going a diesel truck route nowadays for to replace my Range Rover because my Range Rover is getting of age and I don't want to put too much stress on it anymore. So I gave that I gave my Range Rover to my dad so because it's already fixed up and it's good to go, no more issues. So I told him that you can just have that. You can have that now, and I'll just look for another car and I didn't know that it will all happen in you know now I didn't know like I just thought it would be in the future so but here we are now uh, as you can see I'll give you guys a quick tour of what it has so as you can see it already has a ADD front bumper with a light bar and it has the Smithybilt XRC I think this is the Gen 3 winch uh, it's a 9.5k Fox Racing Shocks, um, a little segue, the suspension setup on this um, is a little bit of a budget build because it, it only it only has a suspension lift so it has spacers on the springs and <clears throat> front and back which I believe is a two, two inch lift or two and a half, I need to confirm, I'm just not sure yet because this, uh, this looks like a two and a half inch lift, definitely under three. So I need to know, I need to get everything familiarized first. But I think it's a, it's a two and a half, two to two and a half inch lift with 37s. That's why it's so tall like this. But it has a very expensive front shock. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. So it's a budget, it's a budget um, lift, but it has an expensive front shock. So maybe that's, it's still using the stock Rubicon rear shocks, as you can see there, and the springs. <clears throat> so I might I update that to a matching set. Uh, later on but for now uh, I'll just use it as is <clears throat> since it's only 3,000 miles on them I don't want to just um, throw them away you got the LED package so it has LED headlights and LED interior lights um, other standard stuff so basically this is a fully loaded Jeep so the previous owner um, spec this out and she added all the options except for the parking sensors and the blind spot assist but it has everything else that you can get for a jeep so it's a very specced out jeep and um there's nothing else that needs to be there's nothing else that i, that I missed out on this so the only negative part i think is because it was a trade-in it didn't come with all the original parts so it didn't come with original wheels i have the stock tire carrier but it doesn't you know it doesn't have i don't have a spare uh, tire and wheel setup of this size so I wouldn't trust the the stock uh, tire carrier to carry these heavy wheels and tires anyway I would probably get a reinforced um, tire carrier but so far that's what I have to deal with so I have to get a I need to find a I need to find the size and offset of this of these wheels and get a get a you know a fifth set and also um, you know so I can mount it on the back uh, you have Smitty built uh, rock sliders here, kind of flying all over the place here. 
and uh, here's the DEF fluid filler and you got diesel uh, so eco diesel as you can see there and that's pretty much it so you got protection on your tail lights here that she put there and also a, a license plate relocation by Rusty's still rocking rocking the stock um, rear bumper as you can see there it's kind of odd so it's like a it's like a very budget build but at the same time not really because there's so much stuff going on with this in terms of mods but uh, okay I mean but it but overall it looks good so interior pardon my camera equipment but uh, you know cloth seats with red stitching you guys uh, already seen that and interior really really nice <clears throat> you got the 67 designs phone mounts red panels leather steering wheel all all the stuff and uh, as you can see the the sky sky top one touch roof uh, you can see here and yeah yep look at the front so it's the front comes with all the floor mats already and you know not, not nothing too crazy right now I'm going on the other side so here is the interior the front you got the 8 inch U connect um, the the higher package um, head unit here and as you can see uh, the previous owner added um, the previous owner had this already on here so I added my holster on it so that's just uh, it didn't come with this it just came with the, the mount so uh, something cool to have so I got to show you guys the keys as you can see it's a big big key so you have unlock lock and you double tap this twice it starts the car double tap it twice it shuts it off and you have your emergency horn and so all my keys are keyless now so the Super Duke has a keyless key the GSA and now this one so awesome well the Ferrari is not keyless so that's still old school <laughs> so here's the engine bay uh, I got I had a little bit, a little bit of trouble trying to find this hood prop it's actually o over here so if you're looking for it it's not at the bottom of the base here but it's actually on the hood itself so you have to pull it out from the hood and go down like that so just a quick tip for you guys and here's the diesel engine really really nice and smooth all right so without keeping making this video too long um i'm just gonna wrap this up i just want to share you guys share it to you guys um you know the jeep and uh tell you you know what i recently got i i watch a lot of trail recon videos and i just never thought that i will ever own a jeep uh <laughs> i just never thought i'll be you know but i've always dreamed about having a jeep it's just so expensive to buy i, I know i can buy them used and all but i wanted the the diesel in particular and i wanted a rubicon unlimited in particular and it's just so hard to find the right spec um, with the right mods um, done properly and very cleanly and when I saw this one it's basically somebody just put the mods in and didn't even use it the underneath of the car is immaculate like there's no speck of dust I know it might have been detailed and all that but like there's no sign of scrapes or anything like that like it was never taken off-road uh, it's just amazing you know to to find this and it's just it, it's, I, I don't know I'm, I'm actually speechless like I'm actually in the position to actually get one of these and I'm at basically a right place at the right time type thing I went to the dealership not expecting to buy this thing at all or I want I just wanted to look at it and see how a, a Jeep feels like to sit in to drive and when I when I was there I was about to leave I just like what's the you know should, should I put the Range Rover to more stress and take it further off-road and you know and the, deteriorate it over time or should I just give that you know keep that pristine how it is now and you know I gave it to my dad um, and I just made the decision to just um, jump on this I'll just you know uh, I, I wanted it so I'll just I'll just endure the financial burden for now and uh, I think I'm gonna use this for a long time it's not one of those things that I'll just use and and chuck like in a couple of years like most of my motorcycles so like like you know when I got the Ferrari a lot of money it's a lot of money put on, on on a on a toy but i know that i'm gonna that that's gonna be mine and you know just i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep that i feel the same for this one 
I can't think of anything else to say about it. Uh, I, I just love everything about it right now. So I just, uh, like I said, I'll fix those things that I that that has my concerns. But overall, right now, it's ready to go. To be honest with you. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go take some pictures while I'm out here, um, and there's no one around, so I'm gonna take some pictures and. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.